Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, in this video, we're going to go over primaries that are going to work well with Divinity next season. And the next season, that being Season of Dawn, it is just going to be the scout rifles, the bows, and the and the pulse rifles that can go in the primary or the kinetic slot. And I'm going to go over some of the perks that I think will be awesome with it. And some, some cool roles that you can kind of work out with. I believe I put a bunch of different selections here so you can kind of work with whatever you you feel more comfortable with uh, there is no wrong way of playing destiny so if you like using the bow if you like using the pulse rifle or the scout rifle whatever it is now is this gonna take over overall like an entire game no but if you're the person running divinity this is like a cool thing to possibly look at on that fire team all right once again I like to thank you guys for watching my videos thank you for all the comments thank you for all the tweets and I will see you guys in the next video. But here we go. Here goes the breakdown. Boom. Alrighty, and in this picture, here's the artifact. And at the bottom, you can see that overload round is still going to be a thing. So divinity is still going to be a thing. So here we go with the first gun. This is the no turning back. It is a kinetic bow. Uh, you can get it randomly in the game. You can also get it from doing adventures on the Tangle Shore. The reason why I like it a lot is because it does come with explosive payload, which does help out with bows. And I believe if you're running something that has overload on it, you kind of, you kind of want to have something that has anti barrier. And bows with explosive payload will be a thing. If you if you love bows, this is gonna be the thing for you right here. All right, I kind of tr try to do my best to go over different uh, strings and different fletching. And I do have a video just for bows. If you want to check into that, you're more than welcome to. The next is Accrued Redemption. Uh, and this guy comes from the Garden of Salvation raid. As you can see, I have the Archer's Temple and I have Explosive Payload, which makes this guy one of the, one of the better rolled bows to have in the game. This is the precision frame. Uh, when it comes to precision frame, you kind of do want polymer string. When it comes to masterwork, I like to have draw time. Some people like accuracy, but I feel like draw time would be the first thing in your uh, in your mind, or like the first thing that you should be going for. And as you can see here, the gun is pretty neat. It, you know, target registration is pretty wild, and you can see when you hit a target how much explosive halo kind of does after. Uh, I can see this being something that can be used. Next, I have the Spiteful Fang. If you're a fan of lightweight weapons, then here you go. You know, Spiteful Fang is something that you can farm through Black Armory by buying the bow frame from Ada. You can do the Daily Forge and try to get your good roll. The Curators actually has Arch's Tempo and Explosive Payload on it. I never understood why that was a thing on the gun until this season. And like I said, I believe the anti bear and explosive halo is going to be a neat thing in this season and end game. In in situations where there's gonna be champions, you kinda of wanna be able to tackle both. And this is another weapon which I think is gonna be pretty neat. I personally don't have the explosive payload one yet, but I will be hunting for one during the season. This season seems like it's gonna be a bit more chill than the previous one. Now we're gonna go into scouts. Next guy I'm going to be working with here is the Transfiguration. It is a high impact scout rifle that comes from the Last Wish raid. Uh, the reason why I like it is because it has ALO and it does have explosive payload. Another good thing about this gun, since it is a high impact frame, the range on it is pretty wild. So you can kind of have some, you know, some space on it. And the only one that can get explosive payload is the Curated, which is why in this video you kind of see me only talk about the Curated role. But if you happen to get something even with Rampage and Kill Clip, it can still do really well. But in the terms of using anti-barrier, I believe Explosive Payload, in my opinion, is just a lot better. And you kind of see me back up and you see the damage fall off. And it is it's still nothing too extensive. Like, Scouts are definitely a cool thing. I know friends that don't like using pulses or bows, and Scouts are going to be the thing for them. And then... Same thing here, you know, if you don't like using scouts or pulse rifles, bows are going to be a thing for you, but I'm going to go through each thing. The next high impact scout that I'm going to go after or go through is the imperative. And this is if you have one saved in the vault, because we're probably already in season of dawn as you're watching this video. 
Now, the Imperative can also roll with uh, Explosive Payload. The roll that I have here is Outlaw Rampage. It is not bad. It's a great roll to have. I do think that if you got your hands on Armor Piercing or High Cal, um, that would be the neat thing. But this gun does not have those options. So I would say a Pendant Mag or Extended with Outlaw and Explosive would be nice. It is hard to proc Outlaw if you're using Explosive, which is another reason why I'm probably going to suggest Flare Magwa with Triple Tap and an Explosive Payload. But Triple Tap, I feel like it, it's, it'll be a bit more consistent with Explosive Payload than it would with Outlaw and Explosive. And as you can see here, high impacts, you can kind of move back a bit further and still kind of hit the same damage. All right. The next thing that we're going to be going into is going to be precision <coughs> frame scouts. And Nameless Midnight has been good since the vanilla D2, man. This gun has been very consistent when it comes to how much ammo it can hold and just overall damage. The feel of the gun, the reload, the base stats on it are pretty clean. Explosive payload definitely makes this, it brings this gun to a different tier, in my opinion. If you can get triple tap and explosive payload, you know, with a pendant mag or even a flare magwell, because flare magwell does mess with stability, but I don't think you need stability on a scout rifle, especially in Destiny. Maybe you do if you're using a controller or if you're on console. I don't believe in that, but this gun feels really great and it has been. It has been for a long time. I haven't used it that much since, uh, you know, a lot of the changes did happen to uh, Sky Rifles. Next, we have the Night Watch. The Night Watch is a lightweight frame Sky Rifle that can drop in the Reckoning. It is a really cool weapon. Uh, the, the cure rate is pretty awesome. It's overflow and explosive. I, I'm definitely going to try to hunt for one again. Uh, overflow is just a neat thing to have, man. Have your gun kind of like you know fully maxed out it just breaks how much you can hold in the mag but if you can't get your hands on one i would say rapid hit explosive would be the would be the next thing for you uh appended rapid hit and explosive but the gun feels well and i know a lot of players who like to move fast who love the lightweight frame caliber so this gun is going to fit in for that if you could get one of explosive it is just neat and remember explosive I'm not just saying this because this pose is cool, but it adds 8% extra damage to your gun. Now, Nightshade. Nightshade is a pulse rifle that comes from Mr. Zavala himself. If you happen to have a bunch of Vanguard tokens, you can take a go at it. I right, here I have an Outlaw Rampage one, which is pretty neat. Uh, if you can get appended an Outlaw Rampage on it, I would say go for it. You know, if you're a veteran that, you know, that did a bunch of strikes and you have a bunch of tokens, why not? You know, why not test it out? The gun feels smooth. It's pretty neat. And if you're a fan of pulses, this might be the thing for you. The next gun is going to be the Shattering Bone. And the Shattering Bone is another Last Wish weapon. The role that I have here is the Outlaw Rampage. Um, I do like having Fullborn because you do get a little bit more... Uh, range on it. It is a lightweight frame. I keep going back to this because I know a lot of players love lightweight weapons. It adds not only to your mobility and while you're aiming down sight, you get to move a little bit further. You can also get armor pierce on a high cal on this gun. I feel like maybe even a, a fully auto and rampage would be neat, but I do like the outlaw rampage a bit f more. And another fun gun that you could just run around with and Honestly, if you like being lazy, maybe go for fully auto and rampage. I personally would think someone with either high cal or armor piercing with outlaw and rampage should be fine. Go figure has been really good, especially since the beginning of uh, you know Forsaken. Go figure has always been a very consistent weapon. It is an aggressive uh, pulse rifle. Uh, if you can get high cal or armor piercing with outlaw and rampage. I say, you know, you probably have one in the vault right now just thinking about it. Keep it. You're going to like this gun. It hits like a truck. All right. Now, there are others that can do the same thing. If you're a fan of Kill Clip, go for Kill Clip. You know, try to go for uh, 
reload. You guys got to remember that next season, we're also going to get something called Enhanced Rifle Loader. So that includes Pulse Rifles, Scout Rifles, Linear Fusion Rifles, Fusion Rifles, Auto Rifles. Anything that's a rifle in the game will have an insane amount of reload, which is why I'm also not really talking about, you know, going for reload perks or reload traits or, or even like reload masterworks because if your gun does have outlaw and you have an enhanced rifle loader on it you're already ahead of the game next post i'm going to be talking about here is sacred providence sacred providence drops in the garden of salvation raid and that is from the third encounter if you're lucky enough you might end up with what i have here i have high cow rapid hit and kill clip i i mean i love this role uh it is one of the most neat things in the game the, the the gun is very precise it's very smooth the handling is just awesome it's another aggressive frame gun in the world of destiny and as you can see here the sights are just i mean overall i love the gun but the this next gun here i feel like would be king in my opinion it's called the blast furnace and the reason why i say that is because blast furnace has a sight that highlight enemies the base uh, stats for Blast Furnace just is so much better than the other two. But, it, you know, and you can also do the force to get this guy. Feed him Frenzy and Kill Clip or Feed him Frenzy. And even Rampage can be a thing. Just overall Blast Furnace feels really amazing, guys. If you have the Forges or if you if you have something in the vault, you should definitely check this out. This is going to be a thing of beauty. I feel for a lot of folks that, you know, like, you like shooting things from far. You like seeing them highlighted. It kind of makes it easier to get your targets on. This is the this is the gun for you right here. Black Army has some of the best scopes on weapons as well. But with that being said, I'd like to say thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you for sticking it through. I do appreciate all the comments below. Make sure you like and share this with your friends. And once again, I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you for watching.